Are you on the hunt for a brand new mattress to help alleviate some of your neck and shoulder pain? Well, if that's the case, you clicked on the right video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm Messina.com, and we have our list of the best beds that can help alleviate your neck and shoulder pain. Now, there are a few caveats I want to get out of the way right up front. We do consult with healthcare professionals to craft all of our pain-related lists like this, like neck shoulder pain, back pain, etc. But you should still maybe consult with your own healthcare professional before making any big changes. And if you do suffer from neck and shoulder pain and it's primarily neck pain, I might actually suggest looking into replacing your pillow. I was actually having some pretty severe neck pain myself not that long ago when I switched pillows and it made a huge difference. And if you are looking for something primarily for shoulder pain, there's a really good chance the mattress you're sleeping on right now is a bit too firm for you, which is why a lot of the beds on today's list are on the softer end of the spectrum. A lot of shoulder pain can be caused by sleeping on your side on a sleeping surface that's too firm because it just puts a lot of pressure on that shoulder and on that hip. So a lot of the beds on today's video are gonna be softer, just so you know. There's gonna be a ton of information linked in the description, including full written reviews of all of these beds. Since this is a best list video, I don't wanna get into every little detail about each and every bed on the list. So if you want more information, it'll be linked down there, including any discounts we can find to help bring the prices of these mattresses down. If you find this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, but let's just jump right in by quickly covering the general policies you should expect for any one of these mattresses. First off, you're gonna start with free shipping. All of these should show up in a box. You can normally spend up for what they call white glove delivery. This means the local delivery team will show up with the mattress full size. You don't have to deal with the unboxing process, but unboxing a bed is usually pretty quick and easy to do, especially if you have someone there to help you. Once the bed arrives at your door, you have 100 nights at minimum to sleep on the bed at home, to really form an opinion on it, to see if you like it and it suits your needs, and maybe it helps with that neck and shoulder pain. If you don't like it for whatever reason within the trial window, you can return it and get a full refund. But if you wind up keeping the bed, you're looking at at least a 10 year warranty, often longer. All the policy details should be in those individual reviews. Some will go way above and beyond with that trial period and have a lifetime warranty, stuff like that. But this is just the minimum stuff you should expect. Let's just get right into the beds themselves now. And we're gonna start with our most budget friendly pick for neck and shoulder pain. That's gonna be the NOLA Original 10 inch mattress. Now, this mattress in particular is right between a medium and a medium soft on our firmness scale, which in our opinion is a really nice sweet spot for primary side sleepers because it should provide you with plenty of pressure relief, but it's not gonna be so soft that it's gonna alienate some combination sleepers who just prefer their side. And I think that's a really nice spot for it to be. Now, a lot of mattress brands, including NOLA, love to talk about how their proprietary foams are so unique and special, but with the NOLA Air Foam, I think there's actually something to that. It actually behaves somewhat like a memory foam in that you will sink into it and it will remember your body's shape and kind of cradle you. However, it is much, much more responsive than a traditional memory foam. This means that when you relieve pressure from it, it snaps back into its original shape much more quickly. So you get a nice combination of a memory foam and a more responsive foam. You like to call it a mixed foam feel. And also the NOLA mattress is very affordable. When you factor in discounts, you're looking at somewhere around 800 to 850, depending on the time of year, which makes it very competitively priced. More info will be down below in the description. Next up, we actually have the mattress right behind me. This is the Lisa Legend mattress, and this is a more high-end luxurious hybrid beds for neck and shoulder pain. This bed, like the NOLA original 10 inch, is right between a medium and a medium soft on our firmness scale, so a really nice sweet spot for side sleepers. And it has a really nice soft neutral foam feel that I think pretty much everyone is gonna like. It even has a pretty unique zone support design in that there's a layer that has the middle third made of foam, and then the outer third's made of actually these little micro coils that provide you with extra firmness in the center third of your body and a little bit more pressure relief on the outer thirds. It is a bit pricey after discount, you're looking at around $2,100, which makes it one of the more expensive beds in today's list, but it is definitely noticeably luxurious, super comfortable. I think if it fits your budget and you have some shoulder pain, you're probably really gonna like it, and I think it'll help relieve that pretty nicely. Next up, we need to talk about the Casper Nova Hybrid Mattress, which is one of my personal favorite beds. Its firmness is actually gonna be a hair softer than the first two beds we talked about. We have it at a true medium soft, which means it's just gonna provide you with a ton of pressure relief and probably be most ideal for strict side sleepers. If you are more of a combination sleeper, I'd probably recommend looking at the Casper Original or the Casper Wave Hybrid because those are a bit firmer at around a flat medium. But if you're looking for max pressure relief, the Casper Nova is gonna be a fantastic option. It again has that nice soft neutral feel. And when we say neutral feel, we mean it doesn't really have a distinctive feel one way or the other. 
doesn't have that dense sink in feel of a traditional memory foam, and it doesn't have that super responsive, bouncy latex foam feel that some people might like. Just a middle of the road, soft, comfortable mattress that I think most people will like, or at least be able to get by on. Might not be precisely what you're looking for, but odds are you'll probably like it well enough. And price-wise, it's actually gonna be a bit more expensive than the Lisa Legend, a queen size has an MSRP of $3,000. However, it is regularly on discount. We'll try and link whatever we can find down below in the description. If you are really interested in this bed, I would recommend waiting for a major holiday like Fourth of July, Memorial Day, stuff like that. They often have really big sales around major holidays, so that might be the best time to buy. Plus, the Nova Hybrid does have a really robust zone support design. It's not quite as advanced as what you find in the Casper Wave mattress, but I do think it's gonna be a bit more advanced than what you find in the Lisa Legend mattress. The foam layers in the Nova Hybrid are actually cut out in these very strategic ways to provide you with some really targeted support. They call it Zone Support Pro, and it's Zone Support Max on the Wave Hybrid. Next up, we're gonna be talking about a natural, organic, and eco-friendly mattress for neck and shoulder pain. That's gonna be the Winkbed Eco Cloud Mattress. Now, the reason we selected this mattress in particular is because in general, latex foam hybrids like the Avocado Green Mattress, which is probably the most popular mattress in this category, tend to be on the firmer end of the spectrum. However, the Winkbed Eco Cloud manages to be around a flat medium on our firmer scale, so it means it should work for pretty much everybody, including side sleepers. There aren't that many latex foam hybrids like this that we tested that we actually can recommend to side sleepers, and this one is probably my favorite. It uses a combination of organic wool, organic cotton, and organic latex foam, which means the mattress is very eco-friendly and sustainably sourced. There's a lot of different certifications it has to just show off how natural organic and ethically sourced all the materials are. If you're interested in that, we'll try and link it down below in the description. Now, a latex foam hybrid bed like this has a pretty distinctive feel. I like to describe it as almost the exact opposite feel of a memory foam. You don't really sink into it all that much and it doesn't really conform to your body shape. However, you will get lots of comfort and cushioning and it's super easy to rotate between sleeping positions, which is why I often recommend a bed like this for combination sleepers. Because a memory foam bed, you sink into it and it you know, remembers your body shape and it can be kind of difficult to rotate from your side to your back or your stomach because it takes a while for that foam to snap back into its original shape, which is not something I have to worry about on a bed like this. After discount, you're looking at around 1700 bucks for queen size eco cloud, which is fairly spendy, but in the whole grand scheme of latex foam hybrids, it's actually not too, too bad. And I'll try and have that discount link for you in the description. And they often throw in free accessories like sheets and pillows. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. Next on the list, we have one of our all time favorite memory foam mattresses. Technically we'll be talking about two mattresses, but they are very, very similar because they're from the same brand. That's gonna be the Layla mattress and the Layla hybrid. The reason we find it really easy to recommend these beds to so many people is because they actually feature a flippable design with two firmness options in a single mattress. So there's a soft side and a firm side to each version of Layla. The soft sides of each are gonna be around a medium soft and our firmness scale. So again, really nice for strict side sleepers looking for maximum pressure relief. But if you try that out and you just decide, mm, this side is gonna to be too soft for me, you can actually flip it over and try the firm side. The firm sides of both are not actually overwhelmingly firm. On the all foam version of Layla, we found it to be right around a medium to a medium firm, which means it should work pretty well for everybody, maybe a bit too firm for strict side sleepers, which is why the soft side exists. And then on the hybrid, we actually found it to be closer to a medium. So the firm sides of both are pretty accommodating for all sleepers, while the soft sides are more targeted towards strict side sleepers. So you just have a lot of options with both versions of Layla. And no matter which side of Layla you wind up sleeping on, you're gonna be getting more of a light, airy memory foam feel. The memory foam used in the Layla mattresses are not quite as dense and slow to respond as some of its competitors, but you'll still definitely feel it to be a memory foam mattress. Me personally, I don't love the feel of traditional memory foam, but I think both versions of Layla are more than comfortable. The all foam version of Layla is much more affordable. You're looking at around 950 bucks for a queen after discounts, and you're looking at about 1500 bucks for the queen size Layla hybrid after discounts. Now, if you're just trying to save the most money, definitely go with that all foam version. However, if you are heavier in the 220 plus pound range, I would definitely recommend spending up for the hybrid because it just provides you with a bit more long-term support and durability if you have a heavier body type. And next up, we're not gonna be talking about one specific mattress from a brand. We're actually gonna be talking about the brand as a whole, and that's gonna be Helix Sleep. Helix does things a little bit differently than a lot of other mattress brands. Some brands like Casper or Lisa, which we talked about, will have four or five different mattresses you can choose from, all of which are quite different. Helix, on the other hand, if you factor in their latex foam hybrid bed 
and their bed designed for heavier folks technically have 15 different mattress options, which can sound a bit confusing and overwhelming. However, Helix has a handy sleep quiz on their website to give you more of a guided shopping experience and recommend the Helix bed it thinks will work best for you based on your answers. So if you are a strict back and stomach sleeper and want a super firm mattress with very little give, they have that option. If you're looking for a super soft bed, they have that. If you're looking for something more in the middle of the road, they also have that. So you just have a ton of options available to you with Helix. And on their sleep quiz, it does take into account if you have any chronic aches and pains like shoulder pain. You'll get recommended one of their core models and the corresponding Lux model. I'd say it's probably worth it to spend up if budget isn't a huge concern, but the core models work just fine if you're on more of a strict budget. And that's pretty much gonna do it for today's best list. I did preface at the beginning of the video that we do consult with healthcare professionals to craft all of our pain related lists. And shoulder pain can be kind of a tricky one because it can either be the result of sleeping on a mattress that's too firm for you or some other injury and maybe you don't sleep on your side. It can be kind of tough. So make sure you consult with your healthcare professional before making any big changes. However, I do think any one of these six mattresses might help relieve that shoulder pain for you. And again, if you have neck pain, I would look into a new pillow. I switched pillows not that long ago because I was having some pretty rough neck pain, waking up with headaches all the time, and a new pillow did make a huge difference. And we do have some pillow reviews we'll try and link down below in the description as well. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. And again, tons of stuff in the description, including discounts, so be sure to take a look. Tons of resources to help you with your mattress search. But that's gonna do it for me. This is Owen Racine at home. I'll see you in the next one.